Coming from Mandu vs the Colorist Curse, I was ready to play the next one in the series. There are more levels, features, and a welcome upgraded look. Here's my experience with Mandu vs the Upside Down Machine. Bob and Monsoon, professional bosses from the first game, are in a bit of a predicament to say the least and need Mandu's help as the city of Salsa is in trouble. It seems a mysterious machine has turned it upside down and they need help finding out the reason why before it's all over. Once again, you control the lovable Mandu who I might add controls pretty solid in this game. You are able to do these very short jumps and long jumps without it feeling floaty. I like that the momentum was adjusted so you don't go too far in either direction. Power ups like the tomato, hammer, and red pepper once again make a return and a new power up is introduced that turns Mandu into Meldu, able to throw letters at fast speeds that does a number on his enemies. A big change in this game are the animations since there is more detail in the sprites, movement, and background and little things like the pollen coming off the flowers, reflection in the water, and the way Mandu is portrayed is wonderful. Each power up that you gain gives a different set of animations like the fire flower making you run similar to Sonic the Hedgehog or rapidly running in fear to not being powered up at all. You can use these on many of the returning enemies like the Falzites, Hopping Vampires, and Delicious Onigiri. Of course, there are new additions like the magical versions of the Falzites. You have Lay Crabs, Buzzy Bees, and brand new bosses that are pretty fun to fight as well. You'll traverse eight worlds with each one having its own unique theme and I have to say it has improved much more not just the look but the way each level plays it doesn't feel like the first game where the enemies you know are just put into places without reason there are more things added like pressing a button for instance to make blocks appear that you can climb up and having monsoon even help you fly during certain parts of a level and a few levels that actually show up which is a pretty cool gimmick trial mode is back and better than ever as the menu is displayed in a more creative format you're able to toggle it if you want checkpoints on for a more relaxed experience the difficulty in general is more balanced than the previous games ramping up slowly and not feeling too hard at one point and too easy the next and if you really want to be put to the challenge everyone you can test your uh, skills out in race mode it's from start to finish with Without save points. Luckily, you get infinite lives, so you don't have to be afraid about dying. Like the previous Mandu games, the sound effects and music is borrowed from the other games that it is inspired by, like Mega Man, Toho, and the Super Mario series. They all fit well, but I really had hoped by this point there would be more original sounds for the game. None of these really fell out of place, and the music choices fit the theme of the levels pretty well. Being the last of the Mandu series, I really had a blast playing through this game despite a few personal issues that I have with the last world gimmick not being too clear. Um, it's just a little bit weird in how the mechanic of going upside down is, but overall, I definitely think that Suits did a wonderful job creating this game. I still think I like Mandu vs. The Colorist Curse a little bit more, but it's just because I like that style more, but I still recommend giving this one a playthrough. Between the level designs getting better and the details of the sprites and animations, yeah, the game is a nice step up and one that I will get probably a couple more playthroughs. I would love to see the series remade in the future as Mandu is just a joy to play. Maybe having a remastered version in the future, that would be pretty cool to see things taken from the past and seeing how it would be now that sex has a lot more knowledge in terms of programming and making games in general. Have you played any of the Mandu games or will you give them a try in the future? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, we will be taking a look at Chimera Destroy All Monster Girls, which is my favorite Suits and Sandals game. You have Thrills, Chills, and Monster Girls coming up.
If you enjoyed this video and want to see the previous videos on this channel or maybe even the future content then feel free to subscribe to the channel. To the left is a series of Suits and Sandals games which I am covering or if you want something a little bit different you might enjoy this playlist. Thank you so much for watching everyone and until next time take care.